Good morning students. In this video, I am going to tell you about national symbols. First of all, I will tell you about national anthem. All independent countries have a national anthem. India's national anthem is Jan Gan Man. In offices, colleges, villages, as well as towns and cities, it is sung on important days, especially on national festivals. We sing the national anthem to praise and glorify our motherland. It was written by famous poet Rabindranath Tagore. We can show respect to the national anthem by singing it correctly and by being disciplined. For this, we are groomed to stand in attention while singing the national anthem. It should take us 52 seconds to sing the national anthem. Next comes national emblem. The national emblem is the seal of the government of India. It can be seen on all government documents, currency notes and coins. Our national emblem has been adopted from the Ashokan pillar at Sarnath. It has four lines facing four directions. This symbolizes that these are guardians of the four directions. However, only three of them can be seen at a time. The lines stand for courage and power. The base of the emblem shows a horse and a bull. A wheel is seen between them. The words Satyamev Jayate, which means truth only triumphs, are inscribed below the wheel. Next comes other symbols. The tiger is the national animal of India. It symbolizes bravery and strength. To protect it from extinction, National parks and wildlife sanctuaries are being set up by the government of India. The peacock is the national bird of India. It is a beautiful blue-green color bird. It spreads its tail into a beautiful fan to hop and dance. It stands for beauty, grace and happiness. The lotus is the national flower of India. It is offered to goddess Saraswati. It grows in muddy waters of shallow ponds and lakes. It stands for truth, knowledge and wealth. We should be proud of all these symbols and respect them. They make us feel proud to be Indians. I hope this topic is clear to you all. Thank you. Have a nice day.